Hello, Internet! We are on Battle Spot again, and we are going to hop in with um, this team one more uh, one more time. It's been quite good, actually. Um, it's, you know, I, I do sort of hesitate to say it's a solid team, because I don't really have that much confidence in it, but maybe it's just because it's a, a different style of team to that I'm, I'm used to playing. But, um, you know, it's been sort of working for us so far, isn't it? As we actually find... Um, a big six team, but the Kangaskhan has been replaced with an Espeon, which is interesting, to say the least. Um, will he bring the Espeon against me? I mean, like, I don't have a Smurgle of my own, um, but I don't know. You never know. You really never know. Like, a leader Smurgle's Zernius could be annoying. Um, he has got a Salamence as well. Hmm. I do want my Hitmontop here, but I'm thinking, do I want Latios or do I want ho -Oh? Either lead with Latios or lead with ho -Oh. It's one of them. I think I'm going to go with Latios. I do want ho -Oh, though, and I want Rayquaza in the back too. So, um, yeah, so Hitmontop and three Pokemon with big flappy wings. Um, Rayquaza, ho -Oh, and Latios. Three pretty chunky Pokemon. Latios. It's quite funny, this, isn't it? You know, leading with Hitmontop and Latios. Like, there's always a lead that sort of almost defines each VGC year. Like, people see Hitmontop and Kyogre and they think, oh, VGC 10. And people see, you know, Kangaskhan and uh, Talonflame and they think, oh, VGC 14. Um, to me, Hitmontop and Latios is one of the VGC 12 leads. Uh, it was a very common lead back then. Um, you know, as it was, I suppose, um, came out for Corona as well, but, uh, you know, Latios was a lot more common than, than, um, for Corona. So, he does lead with this Espeon, which is interesting. Um, in Monday's video, if you did watch that, um, you might remember I missed the opportunity to get a turn one Dragon Bolts onto their, uh, onto their Salamence, thinking that they would protect. Am I going to make the same mistake? Uh, I'm kind of expecting this Espeon to be Scarfed as well. Maybe Scarfed with Trick of its own. Um, so it'd be funny if you if went for a Trick on my Latios, but I'm, I'm actually expecting the Espeon to have a Dazzling Gleam as well, if it is Scarfed. Um, so I'm going to go for a Fake Out onto the Espeon. And do I go for a Dragon Pulse or do I go for an Icy Wind? Because I know that an Icy Wind won't knock out his Salamence, but it would get the speed drop onto his Espeon, which would be nice. But it wouldn't really, it wouldn't really threaten us. This is Xerneas, isn't it? It's gonna be Xerneas all day. Yeah, should have gone for the icy wind. These turn one plays, um, ah, sickening. <laughs> okay, so at least we got the right fake out. But um, he's basically got a free um, Geomancy here because we can't, unfortunately, we can't, you know, swap up and go into the trick now. So. Hmm. Like, he's, he's gonna Geomancy. But what is the Espeon gonna do? I don't know. I just don't know. Because I kind of want to um, keep my uh, my Hemant top safe as well. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna double switch here. Just because I'm expecting this Xerneas is going to get its Geomancy off. I want the fake out pressure in the future. He might go for a Hidden Power Ice on what was the uh, Latio slot as well. But I think a Dazzling Gleam is maybe a bit more um, likely as he is actually next to his... Oh, a Psychic. As he is next to um, a Xerneas as well. So he would get the Fairy or a boost on that. So he does Geomancy. Thankfully, he doesn't get the special defense drop on my hoe. That would be pretty nasty. Um, but, um, hmm. But, we're not looking too good here, are we? Because he's got his Xerneas, which covers my Latios, which covers his Salamence. If you see what I'm saying. And my hoe, -oh, okay, it. it is kind of walling Xerneas, it doesn't really threaten it. So, that is the issue here. 
And I have got three very weak Pokemon, Rayquaza, Latios, and Hitmontop as well, so... Um, yeah, not looking too good. Um, we'll protect here. And do, do we want to Mega Evolve? Um, yeah, let's Mega Evolve. And try and get a Sacred Fire onto his Xerneas. Um, if he lets me burn his Xerneas here, then that would allow us to start whittling away at it. Hmm. If I'd gone for an Icy Wind turn 1, then um, we would have been in a slightly better position, but, you know, not, not a massive amount better. Moonblast's the Ho-Ho, -Oh. okay. And probably Psychic as well, I'd imagine. Yeah. Well, this won't knock me out, but I really want this burn now. Okay, so we get the burn. Um, but that was a nice read from him. Um, I mean, I, I don't think... I'm not sure if I agree with that play too much. I mean, it w obviously worked out for him there, but I mean, the, the difference in damage between a Moonblast and a Dazzling Gleam is not that great, really. And, um, you know, just to cover... Um, like, he must have been that confident that my Rayquaza was going to protect this, so, you know, good for him on that one, but, um, we're kind of forced to Extreme Speed now, but, um, but, yeah, we'll Extreme Speed and protect, I guess. Uh, I mean, the game isn't over just yet, um, but, because, you know, if we can get rid of this Xerneas, then, you know, I will have the, the Latios for his Salamence and, and, you know, the, uh, the domino effect will sort of trickle down that way instead. Um. Maybe he'll even Psychic into my ho here too, which would be nice, because Rayquaza will survive here. And he does Psychic into the ho yes, yeah, so he wasn't confident that a Dazzling Gleam would actually knock out the ho there. Uh, and and it, it wouldn't have, so... Um, this burn is actually doing doing us some, uh, some justice, really. Um, the Rayquaza... Like, obviously I can Extreme Speed the Xerneas now. But, uh, hmm. but I think he's just going to knock out my, no, I'm, I'm going to go for an extreme speed on the Xerneas and bring in my Latios because if he is locked into Psychic, then it's not going to do much to the, um, to the Latios. If he does Psychic the, uh, Rayquaza, which is unfortunate, um, or would be unfortunate, then, you know, at least we've got a free switch into a Latios, I suppose. Um, but, I don't know. Um, you know, there's no need for him to protect there. But actually, yeah, he does. Yeah, just because I was thinking, uh, the ho is actually maybe a little bit of a pain for his team, and um, he needs to start getting some damage onto it. Um, so, you know, we're, we're, we're back in this somewhat. Somewhat, I say tentatively. Um, I've got ho in the back. Um, like, if his Groudon's fast and got a rock move as well, then ho -Oh does nothing. Um, so I don't know. I will be locking myself into Dragon Pulse here, I think. Um, but what am I going to do with Rayquaza? Hmm, I've got ho -Oh in the back, haven't I? Um, Espeon, uh, probably can knock out ho -Oh with a Psychic. Maybe not after Leftovers. Um, I need to keep the, the Latio safe here, really. So, maybe... I don't know. Maybe... Hmm. This is tricky. I'm gonna protect... I think... I think he needs to double into my Latios. But I think my Rayquaza sitting there on, on 1 HP is very tempting for him to knock out, so we'll see. He does actually protect, so we've got a little bit of a dead turn here. I think he probably will Psychic into the, uh, into the uh, Latios looking, into the um, Rayquaza looking at that. So, okay. I, can, I have got a free Dragon Pulse into the Groudon here, though. Um, and he's probably going to Psychic... Oh, I still got him on top as well, haven't I? That's nice. I just didn't, didn't recognise that. Um... So I've got a free Dragon Pulse into the Groudon. Um, I could put him on top in for an Intimidate, because um, him on top is not really doing too much against the Salamence, I suppose. Um, and just 
Yeah, just to help with the bulk. That a bit more. Um, if the Groudon is physical. Like, if it's physical and has got, um, like, Fire Punch in the sun, it'll do a lot of damage. Um, if it's Rock Slide, then it'll do, um, you know, and, and when I say a lot of damage, I mean, like, enough for, like, two rounds of Psychic and Rock Slide or whatever to knock my Latios out. And I need to keep my Latios safe here. Um, so if it's physical, then I'll, you know, um, yeah, I don't really mind losing him on top there so much. Um, then I'll, uh, you know, Reduce his attack. If it's special, then he's not really going to be doing too much to me. It's Rock Tomb. Ooh. Um, that's that's my own little trick, Rock Tomb. And it's come back to bite me. Um, that is not good. That is not good at all. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Ah, oh, dear. That's not good, is it? Yeah, I think we've probably lost this game now. Hmm. A Rock Tomb and a Psychic won't knock my Latios out here, I don't think. Um. So, maybe I'll protect the Rayquaza and... Dragon Pulse into the Groudon, putting it in extreme speed range, and then maybe I can withdraw my Latios the next turn. Uh, if you protect his Groudon here, um, then he might just be psychic in, into the Rayquaza again. Um, or he could be getting a bit of chip damage onto my Latios. He actually withdraws the Groudon, so I'm fine with that. That's eating a, eating a Dragon Pulse. He probably anticipated me to withdraw my Latios there um, to reset the speed, but uh, the reason why I didn't do that is because I'm pretty sure um, I would be able to take a uh, Psychic Resisted and a minus one Rock Tomb, um, you know, which doesn't have any, you know, same type bonus or, uh, you know, any boosts of, of any sort on it. So uh, I don't mind this. Um, I mean, obviously, more than I don't mind this, I'm, I'm quite appreciating that switch, to be honest, um, because it wasn't looking too good for us. Um, but I can see why he did make that move. Um, that was that was a Dragon Pulse onto the Groudon as well, wasn't it? So Psychic will probably knock it out. But if I lock myself into Psychic, then um, I'm not really doing too much damage to um, the Espeon. So maybe I will go for an Extreme Speed onto the Espeon here and withdraw the Latios into Ho-Oh. Um, I could lose both of my Pokemon here, and if I do, then, um, you know, bad. But I will be getting a nice extreme speed onto the uh, Espeon. He protects, so I'm not going to be losing both of them, that's good. Um, he probably anticipated me to, um, I don't know, just attack into the Groudon, I guess. But, like, he's probably knocking my um, Rayquaza out here. Yeah, but I can lock myself into Psychic now, which... Like, I'm pretty sure that was, that was a Dragon Pulse, wasn't it? That is Dragon Pulse damage on the Groudon. Um, Psychic has got five base power more, so Psychic might knock the Groudon out. And maybe that's what I've got to play for. Um, I could go for an Icy Wind and protect the Ho-Oh. But then, if I do that, he's just going to knock my Latios out, so... Because he did protect his Groudon, I'm just going to Psychic it, and... Um... Will a Psychic knock my Ho-Oh out? I don't think a Psychic will knock my Ho-Oh out. I don't think it will. So I'm going to Sacred Fire his Espeon. I don't want to knock myself out to recoil damage. So, fingers crossed, we'll uh, get the knockout here. Hopefully he won't double protect successfully. Look at all those battle points, wow. But this has been a long game. And a close one, too. Psychic does knock it out, yes. Those extra five uh, base power actually coming in and helping is quite a lot there. Psychic, I don't think, will knock Hollow out, but... Ooh, it does with a critical hit. Damn. Okay. Well, I'm locked into Psychic. I don't think my Psychic is going to 2-hit KO his Espeon here. 
I really don't think his psychic would have knocked out my, my hoe over there. I suppose I could have protected to get an extra round of leftovers. Like, two psychics from him will knock me out. And I don't think... Like, unless I get a special defense drop. There's a 10% chance of a special defense drop on my first psychic here. Um, he's actually looking like he's going to uh, try and take this to time. The timer is going down. Maybe not. Critical hit. Justice. Special offense drop. Justice. No. No justice. Psychic. Oof. We do survive. So, it comes down to if I get maybe maybe a really high roll, if that was a low roll. If I get a critical hit now. Um, it's just gonna, <laughs> gonna come down to this. It's been a close game either way, so, you know, I can't complain. Uh, well, I suppose I can complain, you know, that psychic critical hit on my hobo. I've, I can very definitely complain at that, but, um, yeah, it's a close game. You know, it's it's for fun, isn't it? <laughs> so, um, you know, it was uh, that was a really long game, actually. So, you know, hopefully this uh, second game isn't going to be uh, too long, but we will jump into a second game and uh, see how we go. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I am quite enjoying this team, but... I don't know, it's just, uh, it's just games like that. You know, we've had maybe a, a few bits of bad luck um, this week with this team. Uh, I suppose, you know, we've had a few bits of good luck with this team as well, haven't we? Um, but, um, I don't know, just little bits like that. And when you're using um, bulkier, slower teams, um, you do sort of invite it onto you a little bit more as well. Uh, okay, so we'll find someone with a, another decent rating. Um, you know, hopefully we'll get a bit of, um, you know bit of justice, I suppose, <laughs> I suppose on the, on this poor innocent person here. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. Um, I mean, you looking at the video, you can probably go back and see how much the psychic did on my ho um the first time round. If if it would have knocked me out, then, you know, fair enough. Um, maybe, maybe I suppose if I was banking on the psychic knocking out his Groudon, um, I should have uh, just gone for the protect with my ho there, because either way, um, you know, I needed some more leftovers, so, uh, uh, you know, the, the reason why I didn't do that was because I think, you know, I thought I just, I, I would have survived it anyway, you know, Hoa was really bulky on the special side, but, you know what, let's, uh, stop, stop flapping my gums about that last game, let's have a look at this game, um, so, okay, Latios looks really nice here, aside from, um, his Raichu could be a little bit of a pain, um, we're going to go hit him on top Latios again, just because the Kangaskhan and the Ferrothorn could be annoying. Um, and we want Rayquaza and Rotom here, I think. So, no ho of this game. Um, and no Amoongus either, so sorry Amoongus. But, uh, Jackson from, I think it, it was the United States, wasn't it? We'll, uh, see how we go with this one. Okay, good old VGC 12 lead. Kangaskhan and Grubat, okay, so, hmm, I suppose he can fake out one of my Pokemon, I can't fake out either of his, or not safely anyway, because um, I'm anticipating this Kangaskhan to go for a fake out, but I can go for a close combat onto the Kangaskhan, and I can go for a Psychic onto the Crobat, and uh, maybe I'll get something from this turn, because he is staying in, so he's probably going to get a Tailwind, and, um, and yeah, I think he'll... I don't know, if he, fake out, if he uses Fake Out on my Latios, then he's losing his Kangaskhan. Which he is, so he's losing his Kangaskhan. Like, he's getting his Tailwind up, but he's losing his Kangaskhan here. So, we'll see if... Um... Ooh, so he's not getting Tailwind. Okay. That's interesting. So, the way he went for a Taunt on my... Um... Him on top just there is me thinking he's got something in the back. Uh, his Kyogre, which doesn't want me wide guarding on it. So I'm expecting his Kyogre to come out now. Maybe it's a Scarf Kyogre? I don't know, we saw that a bit in the Italian National, didn't we? Last weekend. Uh, no, it's Primal Reverting. But he doesn't want me wide guarding on it, obviously. Um, you know, we are still Scarfed. He didn't get his Tailwind. And we can pick a brand new move because um, he did use Fake Out on us. So we are still threatening that Crobat with a Psychic. He might switch it into the... Um, 
into the Rayquaza, but it's not going like, to appreciate it if it does. So, maybe we can put Rotom in. Or do we do we want to sort of maybe preserve Rotom a little bit? Because it is very good here. Ooh, so I'm definitely going for a Psychic on the Rotom. On the uh, Crobat. Hit him on top. Do I need hit him on top? Or would just a safe switch be more valuable? I don't know. Hit him on top. I'm going to put Rotom in just because uh, I've got a Citrus Berry. And um, the ability to wide guard, I think, might be um, very handy for us. Um, I don't know. I suppose I have got Rayquaza. And... Um, yeah, just not the crowbat out. I've got Rayquaza and he's really not going to wide guard on that, is he? So, I don't know. Maybe... Yeah, this Rotom is going to take a lot of damage, actually. But maybe... Ooh. Maybe, you know, we're going to be left at about 70%. But maybe... Maybe we shouldn't have done that. Yeah. Maybe we shouldn't have done that. I don't know. But at least... At least we're down to... Um, you know, a 4 on 2 position. Um, we know what his Pokemon are. We know what our Pokemon are. Um, you know, I'm sure he probably knows what our Pokemon are. Um, so we've got some room to try and make some moves here. Um... If he extreme speeds my Latios, a full power water spout might, you know, single target, might knock my Rotom out, maybe. It'll be close, I think. It's going to be close. Um, and I am, yeah, I'm locked into uh, Psychic Counter. So, um, you know, Choice Scarf Latios is doing some work there. Um, he does extreme speed me, which I kind of, kind of was expecting. Um, I'm just hoping that this Rotom survives. Um, it's going to be single target. It is resisted, but it's a massive um, rain-boosted attack. Yeah, yeah. Oh, of course, we've got the airlock, haven't we? Silly Barry. And uh, maybe I could have gone for um, a Will-O-Wisp on the Rayquaza there. Maybe I could have gone for a Thunder Wave on the Kyogre there. Um, but... Um, it is going to be the Rayquaza because we did um, keep the Hitman top safe, which is... A, a, I'm still questioning myself on that. Um, we do get the you know drop on the Kangaskhan, I suppose. Um, I could have gone for a, a Thunder Wave on the Kyogre as well, but maybe that wasn't so necessary. Um, I don't know, maybe that Kyogre can't actually touch my Rotom now. So... Hmm. He could double protect here. Like, I think his Kyogre protecting is quite obvious. Um, so maybe this is a, a really over-stretching move here. He might double protect. I mean... Oh, he does protect the Kyogre, yes. Yeah. So my, my little suspicion has been right at least once this week, thank goodness. So at least we've made a decent move here. And we do hit the Will-O-Wisp, which is fantastic for us. Good. So Rotom... Fantastic. Rotom's actually doing something for us here. Yeah, I am. Like, okay, so we got... We were allowed to do that because I did preserve the hit on top. But the Rotom did lose 50% of its HP thanks to me switching it on, on the uh, um, the rain boosted as it was back then um, thingy. So, I don't know. I don't know if I agree with that, but I don't know. I mean, the game still isn't over. Really, at all, is it? Um, I'm going to go for a Thunderbolt though onto the Kyogre and um, Wide Guard is really obvious so I'm just going to go for a Close Combat onto the Kyogre because he did protect and he just forfeits, okay he didn't even want to play that out um, which is fair enough and I'll definitely accept that because uh, I think I probably did have the advantage there, and the first game did last forever as well, didn't it? So, uh, you know, I'll take that. You know, we're, we're breaking even in this video as well, so, um, you know, I'm satisfied. I'm happy with that. Um, we've got some decent games, actually. So, um, you know, thanks a lot for watching this, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, you know, let me know what you think to the team and everything in the comments. Um, you know, because this is quite a different team. I've actually, you know, as, <laughs> as much as it is against what I'm used to using, you know, it's not really my style. I have actually quite enjoyed it. Um, you know, if, if I didn't get all the bad luck in Glasgow against me, maybe this team could have done quite well. You never know. But, 
it is what it is, and uh, that's Pokemon, isn't it? So, um, you know, thanks a lot for watching, guys. You know, please like and share. Um, get my channel out there. Get my videos out there. Always, always appreciated. Thanks a lot, guys, and goodbye for now.